Danielle. Hi. Hey. What's up? How are you? Um, my question is, is um, I have just lost my vision uh, this last June. Completely? In both eyes? Completely, yes. Well, Bo the first eye I lost uh, back when I was in eighth grade, I had a cornea transplant, and it didn't work. Um, Why? They, I guess it just didn't like my body. <laughs> Why do you need a corneal yeah, transplant? Uh, well, I was born with glaucoma, aniridia, and cataracts. Um, but it wasn't like really bad exactly. Um, I could still see pretty well. Didn't, just couldn't see really small print or anything. But you know, going through life. And iridia, no iris. Yeah, I didn't have any it's pupils. The, the, the colored part of your eye. Wow. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> uh, but uh, the uh, so I had the first cornea transplant when I was like. Hold on a second. That makes for a spooky BJ. <laughs> you ever have that, Drew? <laughs> looks like a cat's eye looking at yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I have a prosthes prosthetic eye in uh, the right eye. It's like getting uh. a BJ from a Malamute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You've never done that with the dog? Good spirits about this. Yeah. So, uh, so okay. Have to, so. All right, so what do you see now? Do you see light? I see Can you dark. see light? All dark. Just dark, Whoa. just black. Oh, my goodness. And it's really messed up my sleeping schedules and stuff. I mean, oh, I've had yeah. 24 hour non sleep, you know, because, uh, you know, sometimes I just can't sleep and then sometimes I can sleep all day long. And this, I don't know, it's just been really crazy. But So, um, so the, the lack of light is screwing up the brain chemistry. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. And, I, and you know, when people will say, oh, yeah, you know, tell, try to describe something to me, I can't even picture it in my head. I don't, I don't know. Like, they say, do you see colors? I'm like, no. <laughs> but you did it one time, though, right? I did. Yes, I did. But at, since I lost my vision, no, I haven't. But if somebody says a uh, picture of, of um, a car. I try to, but it's very difficult. I, I just, I can't remember sometimes. Or I remember, but just it won't come to my brain. Like, some, I think my somebody said I had, like, a brain lock of something or other. And I'm like, oh, no. It was, has there been some, some effect on the brain visual center somehow? Mm, I have no idea. Uh, I had a cornea transplant this summer, too. I, yeah, a cornea transplant, and they thought that would help because, you know, they found out in June that, you know, they had no idea why I lost my vision, you know, because, you know, I had pretty good vision up until then. And until so, June? Yeah, in June. And so they were like, well, let's do a cornea transplant and see if that works. <laughs> So they did that, and it didn't work. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, Danny. Have you, wow. seen a, have you seen a neuro-ophthalmologist? What's that? <laughs> it's it's a, really a neurologist that specializes they in work eye on function. on your brain, not yeah. your eye, right? Oh, no. No, I've never you, seen You really it. should do that. You really should. <laughs> okay, this well, that's good, because I've kind of wanted to know. So. Hey, uh, i got a bunch of questions for you. Are you having any other numbness or tingling in any other part of your body? Mm, no. Not that I know of. Not that I've noticed, but it's probably happened. Have, have you learned to read Braille at all? Yeah, yeah. But I'm a very, very slow reader. <laughs> but you've just, you've just learned that in the last few months? Yeah. Oh, yeah. see, that'd be it for me. <laughs> I just get a coffee can and go down the corner and just, like, please throw some nickels in here. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's one of my plans now. Yeah, I was going to say. 20 vision. And, and do you feel, um, do you understand, uh, you know, Drew and I always say that uh, because of the radio, we can read people's voices better than we can if we see them in person. Mm -hmm. We can know more about the person. We just, we just we can feel it. You just if, respond do, to feeling. Do you feel that's becoming more acute with you or sensitive? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I definitely... <clears throat> have uh, toned in on all my senses. <laughs> um, uh, hearing is, I wouldn't say it's like ultra sensitive hearing, but, you know, I, I can hear things I concentrated on more. And when I first lost my vision, like I woke up, this is the day that I woke up and I didn't know what time it was because it was all dark. And I mean, I just woke up and it was dark. <laughs> wow. And uh, I was like, have you, what have, you had an have you had an MRI of your brain? Uh-uh, Never. So I, uh, Danielle, you need an MRI. Okay? <laughs> you know? Doesn't seem, seem like someone should be doing that for her. Yeah, please call us back, will you? Let us know what happens with this. You need to see a neurologist, all right? All right. Pro yeah. Promise me, promise me you'll do that. I promise you because I would really like to know why. I mean, uh, and, and in fact, and your and your your attitude about it, your sort of indifference, you know, your your, your positivity about it, mm -hmm. 
certain neurologic conditions have that as part of the syndrome. They call it belle indifference, Adam. Well, La uh, belle I indifference. Say, uh, he, uh, no. Here's what I say. I say if, uh, if, if that neuropathy causes this jovial attitude, sign me up. What do I got, Drew? I sit around bitching all day. Is that... Is that I, would I have a... That is the grand pain in the ass. Uh. <laughs> yeah, just walking around complaining all day. Drew, have you ever had catering this bad on a set? Oh, my God. God, this food is horrible. What are we going to do about this food? Huh. Oh, my precious porn. <laughs> 3,000 miles away. Oh, my baby. All right. I, yeah. I almost, uh, this, this is the big chat. I want to see you loose in a, in a porn store. You know what I mean? I, I'm like, I've never seen you in action in a, in a, in a video store. Well, here's uh, I've never. Yeah, you know, that'd have a that'd be a good cable I, show. By the way, you ought to, I, I'm sort of like porn market I, sweepstakes. I've never really been in one. You cut me loose in a porn store with a shopping bag, <laughs> with a shopping cart. We see how many dollars worth of porn I can uh, dump in there. Shop in, in till like you <laughs> bust. Uh, yeah. You never been a never shop been till a, you pop. You never been to a porn store, Andrew? I, not. I've never like you know. I've never been toured through one. You know what I mean? With this pro. I can have one of my guides do it, or I can do it myself. No, I'd, I'd really be honored to be uh, have the real pro show me around. All right, well, uh, when we get back to L.A. we talk about this stuff so much. I, uh, I check my schedule. Not L.A., I don't know.